see one part of the Crazy. Capitano train, you know? Uh, leads me to fly to the situation. But not to do that at all. For the 15, but, you know, that's, you in know, the middle of the night, you were awoken by the sound of a lot of movement down in the docks, much more than you would expect from nighttime. Much more. You heard what sounded like the movement of supplies, but you know that the docks have been inactive. There haven't even been any boats coming in. Strange. You know, you know, it's it's probably the person who got ran out that's probably the bad guy most of the time. It's 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 like my my regiment was, you know, leaving the castle. Did you get sleep? Once, you know, knew very well a little. Like, I, I, hold on a second. I'm I'm not leaving. It's hard to sleep. Hold on a second. You know, maybe I'm on the wrong side. How about you? I stayed up all night just to ensure that Sif wasn't sick. Ah. <clears throat> uh, it's a gruesome prospect, but one I had to consider. Um, arrangements. What are we doing for? Uh, I only remember what it is that Yersa told me. I'll be taking some time towards the later afternoon to build a pyre up by the logging camp. There's plenty of spare wood. Mm. We'll assemble the people who know her around evening. I'll spread the word. Yeah. Going to have to. There's still people who don't know. Other than that, um, plans for today? A lot of it's diplomacy. Gerben and I need to speak to a mem. And see if you'll <coughs> to my deal alongside Nolzeth. Hmm. Today we'll determine whether or not he... Values his province or his imperial ties more. If you need me there, let me know. I've been looking for an excuse to wear that no. clothes you got me. Not this one. If things go right, yes. I'm probably going to wind up going with Gerbum, and I believe Lardia, since she is the emissary for the Imperials at the moment, acting in the Surrey, I should say. Mm. With the death of Volk, nothing's certain. I don't know what to expect. But we'll see. And if what Nolzus told me a few days ago is true, the robber baron should be giving his demands today. Mm. Likely we'll see a delegation. Who are not to be touched because a man is giving free passage. Make sure everyone knows that. Understood. <clears throat> what about the Capitano? Is that being handled today as well? We delivered him as told. The Baron of Mem has expressed his gratitude and he says he'll take it from here. So we'll see what happens. Mm. I'm sure he wants to know what he knows. Make sure everyone's been cleared out of the ranks. If he slips away. So right again. now the custode is taken. I doubt the custode will allow it. Mm. As I was going to say, the custode has taken over the position of guard captain for now. That is a temporary thing. Or someone else is put in that position. We will see. <sighs> One all, hopefully it should remain quiet. He was hoping. People need it. It's been full There's ball for the last couple of days. Uh, 
There's a lot of repair that have to take place. And a lot of healing as well. Hmm. I need to prepare for that meeting. Stay out of trouble. Got it. Find me if you need me. Oh well. Could not be so I'll let you know what happens as soon as I know a long bit. Say again. I was saying, I'm not going to be surprised if I'm called up to that keep given the sudden change in infrastructure going on. More than likely the council it's, will be convened. It's likely. More than likely. But I won't be talking to him about a council. It's going to be a rough day. Gonna be a hurry up and wait kind of day. Alright, All right, you two. <clears throat> Any plans for today, or are we just uh, taking it easy? I have someone to speak to, but other than that, no. Alright. You were talking about going back to... Benora. Yeah. I'll be around if you need me. Be careful. That's weird. What? <clears throat> My um, indicator that let me know when I was talking just disappeared for a bit. I had that happen before. Yeah. New thing. Great. <sighs> um, well, I have to it do... It activates when you make noise, even when you're muted. Sorry. That's okay. I need to uh, do my morning run if you want to join me or not. Sure. Oh, all right, let's go. Hmm. I need to formulate what I want to say to the person before I go see them. <clears throat> Someone I should be worried about? Hmm. Or at least keeping an eye on? Uh, just a mercenary. I want to ask him some questions. Yes, well. Well, if you need a hand. I sent them. I asked them to do this. I charged them. If I didn't think it would compromise his answers, I would bring you along. Fair enough. They had no stake in it. I specifically requested them to go. And they accepted, so. You can only take so much of the blame. This happens because they believed the cause they died for. I hope by now you can find solace in them. It's a constant thing, Soros. Well, not a single is. victory, a single one.
I can't copy you with that one, but... <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> I need to practice running in my leathers anyway. You know, for my life. Hopefully for not much longer. <laughs> we have a very long life. So... Yeah. That we do. Shall we? After you? <sighs> that was some really good fighting last night. Bad that I enjoyed myself. No, I did too. It was very cathartic. Mm. <coughs> 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 Ugh. Even Torty. Hi. Yeah, it's just when I wake up, my throat gets gluggy. Goes away after a while. I get it. When I talk like this, it like pushes it up. Even Torty was pretty good last night, too. I heard her laughing several times. She was having fun. Concerned for a second, I thought she hit her head. No. <clears throat> she acts like such a child, but she knows what she's doing. I mean... She is. So are we, technically. Yeah, I know. I feel old, though. I feel... I still catch myself. Yeah. Something like my youth. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It just means we're not quite grown up yet. Grown out of it. I don't know. I don't think I mind it. It's strange that... There are people out there that have, like, genuinely had a childhood, you know? Parents that love them. A nice, comfy house. I feel like the people we surround Parents ourselves with are just... <clears throat> I don't know. I think we would be quite boring if we had normal childhoods, normal youth. Certainly wouldn't be the same as we are today, that's for sure. I don't know how you managed to run in a dress like that. <laughs> kind of been doing it for a while. Leather is natural to me. If only I could get my hands on enough spider silk for a full uh, outfit. I'd be even faster. Didn't you have that dress? Couldn't you? Well, I suppose you need someone to actually turn it into the stuff, don't you? Stupid fucking dress. <coughs> So ugly. I, hate it. <laughs> I don't want to wear it, but I will if I have to. You, when you see it, if ever the chance we have to dress up like those, mm. don't worry. Well, you'll get a laugh out of it at least. If today goes well, I'm going to be changing my attire. Oh. Well, if I am the son of a noble, then I need to look like the son of a noble, which means. I have to wear my dress shirt for once. <clears throat> You'd like it. It's made entirely of spider silk and has hidden pockets for all kinds of goodies. 
Oh yes, I approve. Mm hmm I think you like it. Just need to get this to whole noble thing signed off. Hopefully it goes through today because we only have a couple of days until the Imperial show up. Four, maybe three. Apparently. Fuck. <clears throat> I have some work to do then. Have you been speaking to the Drow? Not for a while. Hmm. Feels like everything's kind of been put on hold while we deal with the Capitano. Now that that's done. The matron, she is around. Oh yeah? She just does no... She has no need of me right now. Hmm. But she's watching. <sighs> Ugh. Uh. I hate the sound of my feet. Come on. At least the streets are a little safer now. A little? I hope they're all dead. Well, I mean, we've dealt with the Capitano, but... Fuck me, there's a place called Stabber's Alley. The city's got problems. More than just the guards. I've used that alleyway to my benefit more times than one. <laughs> it suits us fine. Not to stab people, but... No, no, of course not. Stop them from following me. <laughs> to the well. Anything you want to make today feel like normal? Yeah. Why are we giving? We should be starting our own business. Why am I a fucking mercenary at this point? Y'all giving me ideas. Retire. We should retire. Don't worry, I'm targeting you first. Put some oil in my castor beans. <sighs> it's hot drow summer. <laughs> Sorry, do you want to be catcalled or something? What? No. I don't need that. Nope. Oh my god. That shit myself. <laughs> I want to touch me. Good. No, don't. Get that blood off you. <laughs> It'll dry and make your armor worse. But. Oh dear. You're still covered. Why didn't you wash? Didn't want to get rid you of some back here too. No, it's okay. The markings are still there, don't worry. I won't wash those off. Just getting it out of your hair and your face. Uh. I spent a lot of time on that hair to cut it, you don't need to ruin it by leaving dried blood there. You cut that! <clears throat> yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, if any other occupations don't work out, you know you're very good at hair cutting. I'm not used to that length of hair. I mean, hair. the layering alone. I used to cut my own hair back in Corricatus when it got too long. I just. Mm. But. I like I it. I see. It suits you. It looks good. Thank you. How are you two? Uh. Are my legs broken? 
Thank you. Was, was that splinted? Was that the so punky just truck? Hats. Oh. No, it was the same leg, but it. no, it's when it's when fucking Dredge threw fucking <clears throat> at me. Yeah, that'll happen. He threw him? Wait, that mm. happened? Yes, oh my fully goodness. plated up. Picked him up like a toy and chucked him. Luckily, my leg what took Sith the did. impact. She went there and picked up one of the guards and threw him over the walls. Speaking of which, oh. um, splattered right, like, right next to me with Sky. This evening, Sunset Woodcutter's Lodge will be doing a funeral for Sif. You're all welcome. Hmm. Right. The um, one of the um, good guards that was walking around told me that um. His execution will be this morning. You sure? In the arena. Good. Yay. Good. Maybe we can get first row seats. Deval was uh, reading his rights already. The long path to rebuilding begins. The only thing that I am upset about is that he's going to die before Naraz. You should watch all of these men go. Did he get away? He did. I asked Tazim if you had seen them, and the other group didn't see them either. I was so sure that he'd be with Selim. Those kind of people... Slippery. That they can be found. And my girls won't go back to the bathhouse because he's still out there. <clears throat> well, for now, let's enjoy our victory rather than. Yeah. Our losses. I'm gonna go bother someone. Good luck. I'll find you guys later. Sure. And I have no idea where um, Soma went off to after he told me to leave first. I hope he's okay and not just... I don't know. He's a deserter, apparently, no? <sighs> yeah, I heard he broke Which doesn't make sense, because he's not... He wasn't a soldier. He's not a citizen. He was somebody who was here, who's a citizen of Nodis. <clears throat> but they counted him as a deserter and almost... The Imperials will bend any fucking rule they want to, to achieve what they want. Bastards. I see it happen again and again. <sighs> I really thought Sanders could be trusted. He can be. It's not him. It was the Lecter. He vouched I mean, for Soma. He gave S Soma sure my axe Soma. so that he can get here. He's busy. I'll do it later. <sighs> Didn't stop him from kidnapping me and trying to torture me. Whoa, what the fuck? I was gone for literally like 30 seconds. I was talking about Sanders. Ooh, yeah, no. Um, I haven't talked to him in days. You not talked since to the, uh... Well, yeah. Have you not seen him hanging around the blacksmith? No, Wait I haven't. To speak to Tazim. He's got this idea in his head that if he tells Tazim enough times why he's a good Imperial, that he can just be on our side. And I'm trying to tell him that no one gives a shit about his feelings, but... Mm -hmm. well, like, as long as he wears their colors, he's not our friend. He, um... <clears throat> Listen, if he... He said that if we ever needed him, and he said this to Soma, that he will do whatever it takes. Bullshit. That is the same with Ludwig and Ulrich. Bullshit. He said the two are face in front of a grave uh, and they swore on Lily. He doesn't have the fucking testicles for it, Basil. He just doesn't. He's a fucking sergeant. He has control over there and he never uses it to sway anything. Ever. He's a boy. <laughs> what do you He's expect? He's easily manipulated. 
needs to grow Anyone up. Anyone with a strong voice or a stronger <clears throat> hand can take care of him. He's also a child, let's be honest. And the other two, Ludwig, the yes, others? 22. I won't go into it, but they were given some pretty valuable stuff. And... <laughs> well. Use it against us. So, I wouldn't trust them as far as I can throw them. Time and time again, people tell me, maybe these ones are different, and time and time again, they're not. I tend to agree. I tried to trust him with some information, and he immediately suspected me, and uh, pulled me into the clinic, and was going to have the surgeon start sawing my bits off until I squealed on what he thought I had. If Tazim and Jensen hadn't rushed the clinic and some fucking mad dash to save me, then... And that's they... the day Tazim got shot, isn't it? Yes. He ordered that. Jensen did, yes. No. Sanders. He oh, ordered sorry, to torture Sanders you. did. Was... Yes, he did. Again, he has power and he keeps getting swayed. I wouldn't trust him. Even if he's good now, it's nothing to say that later on he might bend another way. Wishy-washy. Like I said, doesn't have the fucking testicles for it. Hopefully something makes him realize that that's what he needs to do. Or someone. <clears throat> well, when that happens... And when if... he does change that mind... He can come and find me, but until then, I don't trust him. Fair enough. I'll believe it's the day that he lays down that stupid fucking beret on the ground, yep. along with all of his colors. It is a very <coughs> stupid hat. Right. Always hated that hat. <laughs> so it, uh, it's supposed to break up line of sight, but it it just looks stupid as fuck when you're in a city, especially with the bright colors. I it's don't... a target. Yeah. I don't know. Harry. <clears throat> I don't know if you've heard yet, um, but yes. just before sunset, uh, people are heading to the Woodcutter's Lodge for Sif's funeral, if you'd like to join us. I'll be there. Thank you. <sighs> Sarah, I wanted to have a talk with you about something when you have a, chan a chance. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not Should busy right now. We leave you to it. You can come if you like, but it's about stuff that you hate. Alone so. alone, I'm scared. I'll come with <laughs> you. Okay. I'll protect you, Sarah. Don't worry. And I'll leave you all alone then. <laughs> Take care, Basil. Mm -hmm. Be don't safe. Don't do anything, arms, Basil. Basil. You gonna take you us to your snuggle dungeon? <gasps> Wait, are you? Yay! Yes, to the snuggle dungeon. Hmm? Snuggle dungeon? Is that where you take Torty? Why? You you really have a thing for good, <clears> don't you? Ew. <laughs> We're all very close, you see. Ew. Nope. Uh, I'm out of this bit. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> now see, now that's my move. You can't be stealing my moves now. Bezrin, I learned from the best. With the young drow boy again. We're the same age. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is that so surprising? I'm I'm like one year his senior. But he still this makes me funny. call him Pappy, this and I don't really understand funny. it. I'm, it's because I, I like it. Like Should we go? I feel like a child <laughs> comparison. Let's go. <laughs> now I feel like I need to be the chaperone on you all, but I'm not going to push it. <laughs> Leave space for Mithrax. I mean, after all, it is my. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you talking about? Good about? I think you scared her. Is this related to what you were talking about with Alan last night? <laughs> um, it is, yes. Yeah. What have you been up to? Probably your shop. Good. Good to see you. 
Right. Good to see you. How are things? Uh, as usual, they could be better, but no. <laughs> mm. It is what it is. I'm what glad to see you safe. I haven't gotten to speak to you a lot since the um, whole embassy thing. I'm good, broken leg, but it's splinted up, so it hurts a little bit. So, that's it, you're just telling me to forget about it. He was talking to, uh, Ziegler. No, no. You shame me. No, no, no. <laughs> this feels so fucking good on my upper back. Doesn't like stretch you out. <sighs> oh, it feels so just like your arms fucking hang like mm. weight. Feels so good. Definitely not good for my back though. In small doses, I mean, it's a stretch, so... <clears throat> what does it look like when I do this? <laughs> like you're crip walking. <laughs> <right? laughs> oh, my fucking locomotion just shuts off, so it just looks stupid. <laughs> Do 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 do. <clears throat> Where the fuck is there? He is. Sorry, got held We've up. We started the ritual. To, um... Oh, I see. Hmm. Nope, this hurts my leg. Ha ho ha he ha ho ho ho. Ha ho ha he ha ho ho ho. Shark. <sighs> Just close the door. You would. <laughs> I should oil that. Oh. oh my god. I don't think I've ever had a broken leg before. <laughs> you look so old. Do you want a little cane? Uh, <sighs> we have one, actually. All right. Um. Right. So, a number of things I wanted to talk to you about. Firstly, um, regarding what you had told me before, something Venora had said to you about looking into you and seeing a void. What were those exact words that she used? So apparently she did the same thing on me that she did you a while ago that made her ill when she's around you. She tried. And when she looked into me, all she could see was a void. Something where something once was, or somewhere where something once was, but is now empty. <coughs> I see. The reason I ask is I asked Aldrich a question a while ago. This fucking guy. Or maybe... Maybe Venora asked it and just told me. But uh, did she mention anything about, um... Well... It says here that 
while there are bloodlines that deal with magic, there are also those bloodlines that... They, um... They run sort of counter, I suppose. I believe the exact words they use in here is that they are like a void for magic. I'm trying to pull up the exact notes. Like, I... they suck it in, or they repel it? Like they are immune. Well... Here it is. <clears throat> it says... Bloodlines are a fickle thing. There is more to it than previously understood. A great deal of magics of the world have been lost to time and to death itself. While some were more attuned to magic itself, others, strangely enough, were quite the opposite. An innate emptiness. A void. A lack of anything magical. These two were maintained bloodlines that the overlords of old found useful, especially in their conflict with the Order. Such people would find themselves unaffected by most, if not all, magics, and it could be looked at as a kind of protection or resistance, if you will. Upon the discovery of a resistance to the established hierarchy and their use of the arcane, these voided beings, untouched people, made the perfect mage killers. Though it is unknown what happened to such people when Elysium was destroyed, in the, magic in the magical catastrophe that followed, nothing, no matter how resistant, could remain unchanged. That was uh, an answer to the question of what did I create when I powered the amethyst and how do I stop, contain, or reverse whatever I set into motion by doing so? Strange. What made me curious was the use of the word void. I started to see these black spots all around the shop, in the basement, even in my house, as long as I had that amethyst on me. And... It was like looking into a black, starry abyss. I don't know if you saw the same. But it, she was usually accompanied by that figure, the same one that attacked you. And until the amethyst lost its charge, I kept seeing it. She's been... Have you ever seen anything like that before? Affected by magic, though, right? You've been... actively affected in the past. She has been. Hmm. It could have been magic this whole time, but yes, strange happenings follow me. The most hmm. recent one being... how I almost fucking... I, Aegon should be dead. <coughs> I haven't talked to him in Line days. here, though. The last line, though it is unknown what happened to such people when Elysium was destroyed, in the magical catastrophe that was to follow, nothing, no matter how resistant, could remain unchanged. So perhaps there was some sort of evolution of sorts. If... Perhaps... I was born way after that. For... I... But... If your bloodline... I love this bloodline. That means it would go back well, to the times of Elysium. I know nothing of my bloodline, so... That's a dead end. It would... Not necessarily. You think it's evolved from what it was originally? Because if... If being this void thing is supposed to make the perfect mage killer, I'm... Not sure some rinky dink chains that would nullify it completely would work, right? Sounds like a pretty hard counter to this this perfect mage killer. Perhaps the bloodline is no longer a resistance and more of a. I don't know, a high strangeness? As you've said, weird things <clears throat> happen around you, and it's not something I've encountered myself. Not something I've seen around other people who wield any sort of birthright magic. It's something Fogrith seems infinitely interested in. He even called you a key of sorts. I still don't understand that. Key to what? 
I don't know. His goal? If I was his fucking key, he wouldn't have fucking... Perhaps you were meant... Perhaps you were meant to be the one to throw that object through the archway. If it is a resistance that you have, or maybe a higher capacity for it. Perhaps, and this is a theory, perhaps you are like a living receptacle for magic. What the fuck is a receptacle? Something that can store uh, something else. If the Dryad has their maidens... Oh, God. Or oh, what are they... Ma what are they? Fucking... The maidens. Is they, that are they are maidens. Yeah. Would there be a counter on whatever the fuck this is? Like a... It could be. The drow version of it? Maybe. The other maiden? I... That never... I... As the conversation continues, even from inside the shop, a few calls can be heard I from the direction I of could the street. That there is something that. going on in the yeah. arena, no? apparently I, something I, involving I, the Capitano. Yeah. The details uh, are lost somewhere in the cross talk. In the All right, let's go. Uh, we'll talk about this more later. Come in, come in, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's refreshing, okay. though. Hello. We'll figure it out, okay? Hi. Is it time? It's time. Uh, the rabbit is next to Sir Lexington. They seem to be getting along well. So, um, I, I got your rabbit. My home was fucking beautiful. I didn't name this one. Not a place of destruction. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see how Crapatano hang. We're just theory crafting right now. <laughs> Crapatano? Oh, That's what you said. It's just hard to think that. <laughs> Come on, you two! Come on! Good to get my All right, let's go. Is we'll talk about this more in a bit. Yeah. Time for just oh, the Okay. Why would you wear just the sheet? Because I forgot to take it off. You know what? Fair. <laughs> you just for that? Let the body hit the floor. Let the body hit the floor. Let the body hit the floor. Now you know magic is real. <laughs> 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 I'm not running. I got stabbed. <coughs> I totally would if my legs were twice my leg size of yours. Wow, everyone's my legs falling apart. Broken. <laughs> you should <laughs> grab one of those potions from Venora if she's got any. Oh, you gonna have a bone oh, hurty potion, Vezarin? Oh, have you had one of those yet? Yeah, that. Yeah, but I, I heard don't know if I is. want one. Oh, you need to experience. I don't know if I want. One. You want to walk around with the I... limb for the next few days? I think it might be preferable. That's well, fine. Really? We'll just you slip it, it into your mouth you when you're sleeping. Like see weeks. me cry and roll on the ground? No, I thought you were going to die. It looked like <laughs> an incredibly I felt agonizing. Like I was going to experience. die. Yeah. It sucked. I'm going to be honest. That's the reason why I want you to take it. <coughs> to feel my fucking pain. Bless you. Sorry, the flowers. You are so good and supportive. Fuck, you call me. <laughs> you guys are such a great couple. Completely, just completely stable. The epitome of just We're very <laughs> healthy. Perfection. Yes, healthy. That's the word I'm looking for. They could not think of. Yeah. Something, something. Oh. Arena. Uh, Your sarcasm is very high. Like like that that your face like that with face like that. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry, did I Don't get the mean to sound yeah. sarcastic? Oh, no, right. I was not joking. <sighs> Do you need a hug? Tordy's right there. Yeah. Tordy, <laughs> hug this man. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. You... Goodbye. So, apparently Good Hopper wants to hug. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Um, how are you? Oh, my head. So many people here. Oh. <laughs> oh, good morning, you all. Tired. Good morning. Mm. Hey, think of it as one less mouth to feed, you know? Hey. What? The cruel way of thinking. Ah, boys in. One less it's not a scene or way of thinking. Still, this will be the finest blood ever spilled in this damn arena. Still would have preferred if I was being this room. Such luxuries I didn't have. Alright, Dom. This is about there. I haven't seen you in a while. How about you? Oh, well, How have you been? Didn't think something like this would ever happen. Been better. Really? What troubles you on this? Mm. I suppose it is. <laughs> <laughs> the fresh one. What part of yesterday? In my head, that's Bud Light. Me too. It's a damn shame. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on, I'm going to sit in a hole. There we go. Perfect. Heal every time and then pass by. You do drink of We shall do it now if you wish. But the rune off seems to be the only lost the one. Speak for yourself. I've got a broken leg. Oh, shit. Yeah, but don't go on about it. That's not nearly as bad as what happened to me. God. Oh, here we go. Holy shit, it's the Pain Olympics. I heard you got set on fire. I did. <laughs> that was fucking <laughs> terrifying. I just say. I'm glad, glad you're okay. okay. It was painful. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Yeah. As long as I don't feel the pain of fire, I'm either a corpse or a lot more I descend it somehow. Yeah. Soon. Will that be there? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you can have this one if you want. Cheryl. No, it's fine. Uh, I'll get it. No, here, you get there. I'll uh, sit on this <laughs> box that's right here. Amazing. I can scorn him Thank you. I didn't. Uh... Anything, oh, did I? Me Not yet. No. My people of Nottis. Oh, go fast. Oh, the, oh, the time has come for justice. Oh, that's the despicable <laughs> guard Capitano Jeez. will finally meet his due justice. Many of you have felt his unrelenting heel. No longer for the crimes he has committed. The Capitano will be sentenced to death.
maze, I think, bastard. Hmm. I'm guessing no pardons this time. No. Not for the crimes he's committed. Silence settles over the arena as the Capitano was brought out for all to see. Doubtless, they'll read his crimes and then mete out whatever sentence follows. It is the Custodes Justice. Capitano Sekad Olbash. By order of the Radads, I, Sergeant Chestano Shelto, shall sentence you to the crimes of extortion, coercion, robbery, bribery, human trafficking, conspiracy against the barons, armed rebellion, and murder. Hereby strip you of your rank and title and sentence you to death. May Asara have mercy on your soul and may she bring you home. Everyone here can see as a guard sergeant draws his weapon, the Capitano seems to be looking around almost as if he's trying to say something past his gag. Most of you can hear muffled yells or screaming. Majority of you up close will be able to see that he's trying his damnedest to get past his gag. And in that moment, the sergeant looks up above towards the Baron, whose hand deftly drops Sorry. down. And as it does, in one swift moment, so does the blade. Blood streaks the sand. The man that had given so many such ill tidings and grief, the one that had brought so much blood and murder to your homes, collapses to the sand, the blood beginning to permeate, changing its yellowish tan color to a darkening brown and red. The people around you, most of the citizens of Nautis, let out a cheer, grateful that this evil is gone. Though some in the crowd seem somewhat uneasy. The yeah, shouting the can be heard bastard. coming up from where Kovaz is standing as you see him turn around as another figure begins to make its way up to the stand. What's going on? What? Pardon me? Mm -hmm. Is the yelling about? Sure is. Oh, it's the other Baron. Why is he late, though? What? The voices can be heard echoing into the arena as both sides seem to be arguing. Down in the arena, you are all able to hear their following words. What the hell are you doing this early? I needed him! <laughs> Kovaz. I thought this is what we agreed to. What are you talking about? No, I needed to find answers on who else he was working with, who else in the guard, who else is going to continue this madness after he's done. And then the people need resolution. They don't need resolution. They need justice. And this is not it. It's not enough, Kovaz. You absolute fool. Buffoon! What the hell am I going to do now, huh? What the hell am I supposed to do? Can't the rest of this city! Long enough. Brother, this isn't the place for this. They can hear us. They can be no choice. The two swiftly make their way off the top, both still in heated debate, now quieter as the wood gates to the arena slam shut. People look around amongst each other, somewhat bewildered and confused as a Capitano's body is taken away, and a silence falls over the area. The execution is over. Is that what they're that really was... like, Hawkwood? 
I have a theory. Like that? Mm -hmm. They really gotta put some covers on those, uh, those trumpets that they have. My assistant's trying to get into the ship. Aye, what is your posts? One's trying to, I guess, satisfy the So I guess that wasn't the plan? Sure. They didn't spite that man, maybe. No, the whole point of capturing the Capitol alive is so men could question him. Well, I told you Kovas was an idiot. Well, I don't know if idiot she is anymore. Like he came up there for a reason. You think that was a little... Fantastic. He's right. What sense would that make? What is the point? It seemed like it. Uh, seemed rushed. I mean, seems like something is usually the doing. Oh, it's like he's up there. Oh, it's the one that took out the cup. Oh, it's like the one that took out the cup. Oh, it's like the one that took out the cup. But, yeah. Do you think he... Don't think Kova has allowed him to say anything else. What would be the point? They'd get every ounce they wanted from him. I'm sure that he stole... Damn it. Wait a second. Something wasn't right about that. I heard whispers from some spies we have in the castle that Kovaz has had ties to the Capitano, to the point where they've argued about how things have been done. If I was a betting man, I'd say they were in bed with each other, and he this killed him ahead of time, so that he couldn't be questioned, yes. This was a silencing. Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to have a little chat with your father. Me too. Thorin. Night. Lorelai. They've been talked to. Yes, Lorelai. Hey. I, um... I'd like to ask for some of the uh, livestock. Or, or, um, sorry, live hands. I have some salam for Peter if you want to <laughs> give him that. Okay, how about these? Um, well, what are you doing? As many as you can get me, I suppose. I've heard all that up there, right? You plan to throw a feast or something? Now we need to play the Can Arn make it to the forge without being stopped 20 times by 20 different fucking people? <clears throat> Try my best. Change of pace. Tori has, uh, Tori has, uh, oh. your rabbit, so... Good. Thank you. No. Just be careful. Just, um... Due to the, uh, fighting in the hunting team. Very good. Very good. Got it. Um... Just bring me whatever you catch, and I'll be happy you to... You all heard one. Yeah. Sure. I gotta attend this. Go. Kovas has always hidden how smart he really is. I have a theory. If it is even possible that he is involved, <sighs> you speak my own sense. Fine. Tazim. Yes. Whose order was it to bind and gag him and make sure no one interrogated him before handing him over to the brothers? Amen. 
He wanted to make sure that nothing was leaked to the wrong way. They wanted to make sure that it was him and the custode who were present when any interrogations were made. I see. When it, when it was delivered, it was straight to the custode's men. How did Kobaz get his hands on them? Right to warn you. <clears throat> that boy is a snake. I'm starting to believe it. That was a silencing, not an execution. There have been uh, whispers of someone in the castle of high standing getting a large cut of sum of money. That was supposed to go sure to the good. Capitano. For those of you who don't know, but I think everyone in this room does, this is Hibaja. He was a smuggler working for the Capitano. Came to testify. Now it looks like it won't fucking matter. Hmm. Actually, you may be a target if you see. I know. He's aware of that. Well, the good news is the Capitano and his men have been unfolded. There's probably going to be a few here and there that need to be routed out, but... The problem still remains in whose order he was on, and it was not a meant. I don't believe it was. They really don't want us to find out, which is interesting. I feel like <clears throat> the execution speaks for itself. Kobaz has a history of putting on this bumbling sort of act. It seems in line with all of the suspicions I had. I should probably let you know. During the council that I was at, Mem was not present, Kovaz was the one proceeding. However, the elven ambassador was always whispering into his ear. I'll probably see another lot of it when I'm summoned likely to the castle today regarding all of this. Well, Mem certainly didn't hide his displeasure, that's for sure. The question is, how does this affect your plan? I can't back out of it. Still have to meet with the men. Still intend to need to solidify things with Nolzis and Gerben. Hmm. You said that meeting's happening today, yeah. yes? Yes, and soon. How soon? I want to be able to intercept them before they go up there. Intercept who? Speaking of the diplomatic talks that you had mentioned. We'd be going to the keep. The robber baron. Are we be are we going there with him? Oh I don't know where that is taking place. We are going to the keep. For our meeting. Hmm. Whatever's going on with the robber baron, all I know is what Knowles has said. Location I'm unaware. Is it with the Mem or Kovaz? We are meeting with the Mem. Then the robber baron is meeting with Kovaz? Probably not. I, I, I could not tell you. I'm not in charge. I don't know. My information's third hand. That's a Nolzer's question. All right. Try and find her. I would assume that he would not miss something that large. More than likely will be kept waiting. Hmm. 
your favorite son. Who was she referring to when she said that? The snail said Kovaz. It's not. I don't know what to make of that sentence. Don't worry about it, neither do I. When that was said, Think about they it. were referring to Kovaz. Okay. The robber baron. If I were. If I were to. <coughs> see my own thoughts on this from that one sentence. Favorite child would be one that would be considered more talented than the other in some way. Amem takes care to do with that. of her privately, quietly, by himself, doesn't draw much attention to it. Kovaz only does it when there's people watching, makes a big fanfare about it. It might just be the only thing that gets through the fogginess of her mind that Kovaz is the one taking care of me because everyone says so. Hmm. Hmm. Also, whispers from the keep were talking about hearing of Kovaz and arguing with the Capitano. So they have a history, at the very least. The Capitano went as far as to threaten Kovaz's life. This was several days ago. So... I believe the Capitano would have something on him if he was bold enough to do that, right? He wouldn't just do that out of left pocket. He must have something on Kovaz. Well, he Even felt pretty bold enough to do everything he did. I don't know if it would be that clean cut. Even with all the power he held, directly threatening one of the two possibly ruling barons? He didn't get the to be that way by being stupid. Even still. The one that would have no power. Just because he's the Maybe younger, he not in the line of succession. Agreed. My point being is that they had history, and if they had history, then Kovacs would want to silence him before he said anything. Hence the gag, and hence the immediate execution. Wasn't the Capitano one of the men that a mem had brought to Belerno? Maybe. I can't remember what the lighthouse owner said. Mm. I would argue they both have history. <clears throat> but I don't disagree with your theory. I also do not know not how deeply sure. in, how deeply in bed uh, the Capitano was with the dread knives and etc. The Dauntless was quite well stocked with their supplies most of the time. It was one of the main ways of getting things in and out, in fact. And that is all I know. What kind of custom calls the Baroness by her first name? One that was very close. Yeah, but how familiar, right? <sighs> to be fair, he you also... her name so plainly in front of... No, no. Not while Jodar was alive. Referred no. to Jodar by his first name, too. I know it seems impossible for us to believe, but Jodor and Mephru loved each other very much. And that kind of insinuation is not something I'm willing to entertain. They... No. Quite defensive, you know, was... Gabon. than most commoners did. And I knew No one escapes the human tendency. I've seen it in all of you. I beg to differ. Either way, 
We don't have time for this. We need to go for our meeting. Whatever happens, happens. Find out where this diplomatic meeting with the robber baron is taking place. Unfortunately, more than likely, we're going to wind up waiting at the keep. Hmm. So, we'll be tied up for a bit. Before you, you go, to, we'll get going. A Castilian, the robber baron. What's his name? Atasco. Atasco? Atasco. <laughs> Very well. Get what you need and we'll get going. Fine. My lord? I'll advise you keep what do you have me do in the meantime? Are you ready for things to fall apart if it does? I'm hoping it doesn't. If we are correct about our assumptions and this is a silencing, then Kovaz is at the center of this. The only way we're going to know for sure if Ladia can figure out what's going on with the Imperials and he was pulling their strings. Is hoping. Otherwise, I have nothing. Not yet. Okay. Hi, bad. If you're trying to find Venora, the house is on lockdown, no one's allowed inside. Good, but no, actually, I was letting you know that, if you don't already know, Sunset at the Woodcutter's Lodge will be doing Sif's funeral. You're welcome to come. Uh, I was told. Thank you. I'll be there. Or I'll be back. They haven't done these rips since, so... Yeah, I have Don't know how. Heard a few people talking. Well, that's fucked up. It was very, I, um, yeah, very, very hurtful, and I've never heard them talk like this before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you're all good people. And I know there's uh, an idea that maybe the Capitanian men uh, have the birth still somehow. Fuck me, they're like locking down my hideout. <laughs>
I've been serving a while. disappears here. Physical, do you want to talk about emotional? Oh, I mean, spiritual? <laughs> it's the pretty much answer for all of those, honestly, minimum. right now is no. <laughs> Future is well. Oh, no. Such, it's actually, physical is fairly such an good. Such an opportunity that comes my way. I can't tell if I recognize it for what it is. It's not bleeding anymore, so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice sentiment. My I can see that. My is okay. Miracle. <sighs> I'm not here. I just wanted to see if you were all doing okay. Um, another guard was killed over there. Um, we saw him get carried, or is there another another? Or just the one that got carried? No, that was like okay. the one that got carried. He was a good one. He was one of Fenton's. Oh, oh okay. Ooh. Oh. Um. No, oh, I'm not. I'm not um? getting charcoal today. Oh god. Oh, uh, you want some charcoal <sighs> hopper? Here, just scoop it off of me. It's covered in a very fine black powder. I would go over there if you are friends, uh, Miss Venora, because I think they're about to pull Soma out of that building. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. There. Whoever that is. Yes. Shit. <sighs> Your uh, boyfriend is in trouble. He is. Not much I can do right now dressed like this. I can take off a heel and whip it and hit Sanders in the head or something. But that's about all I can do. I have seen high heels used in many dangerous ways. I have faith in you. I would mm. prefer you not, though. We do not wish to anger the Imperials. I am. Uh... I already talked to enough people with status of guard and soldier today. Easy day for you. Surprisingly, yes, especially after it all. So, are you and Marco got reacquainted? He almost died yesterday. I saw. A lot of people nearly died yesterday. Some actually did. Yeah, I know. A lot of very important people. And a lot of people who deserved it. A near-death experience changing how you feel about him. Or maybe just reminding you. I can still have my heart hurt seeing him hurt. Even if I don't and can't have him that way. Mm. 
As someone who I know very well has stated, not a lot of things can be a luxury to us. Not, not anymore. No. So for those that I can treasure and hold dear, I do. And yet even still, someone died under my watch while I was with them. It was not your fault. I kept Soma downstairs. I blame myself wholeheartedly for it all. For the girl. If he was upstairs and fighting and not with me. Maybe Sif would still be alive. Ah. I was referring to uh, your counterpart. I blame myself for that too. Always in the last word, don't you, Ulrich? <laughs> if I didn't get her involved with something, maybe she'd still be alive. Hey, George. Thanks for last night. You didn't kill the gladiator, Basil. What? No. But if I didn't have her go and get the guards, and I didn't get her involved, maybe this wouldn't have happened. There's so many ifs and what ifs. I had this talk with someone else, actually. No matter what, I'm going to feel this way. And I can feel anger towards certain people, but no, it is not their fault either. Do you feel anger towards me? Jobs have to be done. A small amount, yes. We shared that in common. <sighs> Don't beat yourself up too much either. If people are going to say, don't blame me, don't blame yourself, okay? Perhaps this is a burden we can shoulder together. I think so. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. <sighs> Especially since I don't think I can cry anymore. I've cried so much in the last couple of days. These are sad times. But I got Salim. Did you? They gave him to me. Sif threw him right, knocked him out right in front of me, and I got him. How did it feel? I did not realize how much... It was such a dark urge. <laughs> in the moment, it felt good. It usually does. A relief when he was dead, but at the same time, I'm scared that I might like it if something like that happens again. Speaking from experience, every time you give in to those urges or you make that choice, you give a part of yourself up. A little piece of you dies along with them every time. It feels like uh, a little piece of me died that day, but for just a brief moment, that hole in my heart that she had left me was full. It is an addictive feeling. You'll be careful with it. It is. Well, maybe you should show me how to uh, work those urges. Aren't you the one that works people's urges? <laughs> but again, this is a burden that we can both share, no? You are very good at your job. I try my best. 
And maybe after all of this, maybe if I decide to stop being a dancer, I'll be a therapist. You could do well as a therapist, I think. Who knows? You've seen enough. Lord knows it. Mm. You're sword training. Well, who knows? You hold yourself I like now entertaining. I would like to do some more. More balance. Experience? Mm. Is it good look on you? <laughs> 